Praise the Lord. Welcome to our brief Bible reflections. This is the day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. We are looking at the book of Mark chapter 6. Today we will read verse number 53 and 54 just to remind ourselves from verse number 45. This is where Jesus walks on water. And as he does this, the Bible says that he climbed into the boat. When he got into the boat, the wind ceased. And so, verse number 53 says, When they had crossed over, they landed at Genezareth and anchored there. As soon as they got out of the boat, people recognized Jesus. People recognized Jesus. What we want to remind ourselves is that when Jesus gets into our boat, we shall surely cross over. Christ is together with us in this boat. We are assured of a safe landing. When they had crossed over, they landed at Genezareth. It is not just another landing. He is landing us or taking us to a great destination. Genezareth is a fertile plain. And this is, you know, on the western side of Galilee. And this is where they landed, a fertile place. Genezareth, a reminder to you and me, when Christ is in our boat, we shall sail through and we shall cross over. Praise the Lord. And the crossover is not just another thing. He is leading us to such a wonderful destination. We are getting to our Genezareth. And this is where we are going to anchor our boat. The reminder that God is giving us today is that we must allow Christ to climb into our boat because he knows our next de de destination. When he uh, got into this boat, the Bible says that they sailed through. Remember, they had struggled. Contending with the strong wind, Jesus intervened. Yesterday, we reminded ourselves that it is very, very important not to ignore, not to forget, not to fail to understand any kind of an intervention that God does in our lives. It is good to have uh, that spiritual connection with God at all times. And when we connect with God, allowing him to get into our boat, we shall cross over. And the crossover, once again, we are landing, we are landing on a fertile plain because Christ is together with us. He's not just taking us anywhere or somewhere. He's taking us to a fertile ground, a place where we shall have uh, all what we desire, abundance of everything, because he is together with us. He knows best what we need. He knows best where we ought to be. And I remind you, and as we remind one another, we are crossing over. The wind may have been so tough, so harsh, but Christ in the boat, we shall cross over. And our destination is not just another place. Brothers and sisters, the Lord is leading us to Genezareth, a place of plenty, a fertile place. Allow Christ to get into your boat and for sure he will lead you to your Genezareth. Let us take heart in the Lord and Christ with us in the boat. We are more, more than victors. May the Lord bless you. God keep you. Let us sail through with Christ. And this is an assurance. We shall cross over. Secondly, we shall land. And the landing is not just anywhere. We are landing in Genezareth. Praise the name of the Lord. God bless you. God keep you. May you land well with Christ in your boat. We have this confidence in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Have a good day. Shalom.